Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to Be Spice Agro Engineering Company. Reporting is Agbato Adibola, Head of Operation. In this new video, we'll be showing you how we installed and did the training of a 300 kg per hour floating fish feed production plant. This is a site we constructed from on site. I showed you, you, if you can go through our video, you'll see where I showed you the construction process of this feed mill. Everything is now intact. We've supplied the machineries and this is a video showing the installation of the machineries. In this fish feed mill plant, they'll be able to produce about 300 kg per hour floating fish feeds with ease, without stress. If you can see, we delivered two of our extruder machine we have the non self loading extruder machine and the self loading extruder machine okay i will quickly run through the machineries in this video okay from the hand i will show you this is the bed dryer this is the bed dryer by the side this is the self loading extruder machine this is the second one is the non self loading extruder machine two of them combined together will produce 300 kg capacity fluty fish feeds oh this is the wet dry mixer the other there is the pulverizer that helps to grind into a fine powdery form okay this is the first process of the installation after electrification and installation the, f the next process into production the first phase is the uh, pulverization and pulverization this means grinding of all aggregates like the maize the soya the gnc grinding them into a very fine powdery form so this is what this machine is doing if you are going into production of floating fish feeds then this phase is a very very important phase because this phase is what will give you a very neat and very round and smooth floating feed so if you escape this phase then you should be very assured that you will have a very rough looking pellet after production okay so the next phase after this phase it is, is the mixing stage as you can see these are the fine product from the pulverization so this will be taken into the next machine by the side which is the dry mixer or some people call it horizontal vertical mixer sorry so as you can see we are trying to discharge the already grinded ingredient into the vertical mixer and this is where we had the other powdery ingredient like the fish meal the feed additives so this is where we add them together and we allow them to mix thoroughly before we take them to the next phase of production and most times as you can you, you notice that the dry, the vertical mixer is operating at a very slow speed yes why we do that is that if it's operating at a very high speed it might denature the protein okay okay quickly this is the next phase after that this is where we condition the feed before production, before extraction. So in this phase, we add water to the already mixed ingredient. We add water to it and condition it for extrusion. Oh, this is the extrusion phase. This is the extrusion phase where we pass the already granite ingredient, already mixed and conditioned ingredient into the extruder machine to produce a floating pellet. As you can see, this is a floating pellet which the customer just tried it. So the people gathering are the people of the Isha good community. We train them on how to produce a low cost but quality floating fish feeds. This is the second machine. I will show you when it's in operation too. So the boy is just trying to Okay. I hope you all can see this and if you have any question you can easily send them down you can write them in the comment section you can send us email you can call us to make inquiries on all of our all of these our machines okay this the production stage is still ongoing that is the dryer the feed ingredients still ongoing 
like I said, this feed mill will be able to produce 300 kg per hour floating fish feed. So this is the first machinery, the first extruder machine in action. And this is the second one. This is the self-loading extruder machine produced by yours truly. So this is a self-loading extruder machine. As you can see, the yellow bucket is dispensing itself gradually into the extruder machine by itself. So this is, is a, this is the self-loading extruder machine I'm talking about. Very effective and very, very efficient. The, can you see the product from it? The products from the extruder machine are neatly cut. Neatly cut. If it's 3mm, it's 3mm all through. If it's 4mm, it's 4mm all through. We, uh, we pay detailed attention to things like this. These are what some other Australian machine will not give you. But in this Spice Agro Engineering Company, we pay detailed attention to things like this. As you can see, this we are having a very round floating pellet. Very round floating pellet. Very round floating pellet. Thank you so much, Africa. Thank you so much, Nigerians, for always believing in us. And we urge you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, share our videos. Make my inquiry about our machine and after all, purchase our machine and save cost. This is the bed dryer. This makes use of the makes use of charcoal at the source of it. Some people don't really uh, want the one with uh, elements. Most people prefer the one with charcoal because it's easy to operate and helps to save cost. It's I've explained that earlier in the particular video, so you can watch the video and see the difference between the bed dryer and the rotatory dryer. There are differences, importance, and advantages and disadvantages. So this is the Ishago people. They are so amazed looking at how simple it is to produce a floating pellet using bee spice agrogenary machines. So you two can be a particle of this you too can you can, can benefit from this by sending an inquiry and we tell you what and what you need to get um, um, into together so thank you so much for viewing so we hope to receive your inquiries as soon as possible thank you so much for making us your also your number one choice for locally fabricated closing fish feed equipment thank you so much so we are trying to test run and see the floatability level of our feet and as you can see it's 100% floatability it's 100% floatability thank you